lots of people look at a bike and they're like, it has a flat tire, it's no good. The bikes that otherwise might end up at the scrapyard or in a landfill still have a lot of value in them. We're trying to take all these old things, put some love into them, and keep them going for years to come. This year we will donate uh, hopefully over a thousand bikes here in Chicago and the surrounding suburbs. About 8,000 bicycles will go to our international partners. What do you see in the eyes of these kids? Joy. They ride them to school, ride them to their friends' houses. What is this place meant to you? I uh, admit a lot. People from being out there in the streets. You're giving these bikes new life, but these bikes have also given you a new life. Right. This place here is the best place to come get your bike. Can an old bicycle change a person's life? Absolutely. Chances are you've got an old broken down bicycle gathering dust in your basement or garage. At Working Bikes Cooperative in Chicago's Little Village neighborhood, they will gladly take it off your hands. We are a nonprofit bike empowerment organization. We've been around about 20 years helping give old bikes new homes. Uh, every year now we collect about 12,000 bicycles and try to put each one to the best possible use. We sell you know, primarily hybrids, mountain bikes, uh, road bikes. Uh, we sell old Chicago made Schwinn's, so we've got like those classic old bikes that we're able to run the nonprofit program um, with that money. Locally, we'll send about 1,200 bikes to people in Chicago who need them. The majority of our uh, donations go to people that were referred to us through social service organizations. Some of them also go to schools, community centers. Um, we donate a lot of bikes to kids. We also ship bikes to uh, bike shops, our international partners, uh, all over the world, primarily in Africa and Central America. Bikes for Lesotho is a project that I started as a former Peace Corps volunteer to try to bring bikes to kids in Lesotho, and especially orphans. 30% of the adult population in Lesotho is HIV positive or has full-blown AIDS. There are 100,000 orphans in the country. The fact that I had never seen a bicycle, I lived there for three years, been back a few times, was striking to me, and I thought I'm going to send bikes. Biking wasn't there before, and now it is. Volunteers help us do everything <laughs> that we do here. We've been really excited to find that some of the people who receive donation bikes from us then become part of our volunteer base. The place I stay at, uh, Halfway House, and they volunteer, they had brought some bikes to us, about 20, 30 bikes. And they said, well, you can come down and volunteer if you want to. It seems to me that this place is about second chances. Yeah. For the bikes? And for, 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 for a person. A bicycle can be the tool that people need to be able to get to employment opportunities, get to medical resources, really be able to self-determine their own path around their community. My dream is that maybe someday one day one person will see a bike that they donated to us back out in like on the streets in Chicago, somebody riding it around. 